Hi, my name is Steve Johnston. Welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. That was Wayfaring Stranger, which is an old traditional gospel number that uh, has been recorded by many people over the years. And we're going to go ahead and break it down for today's lesson. So why don't you go ahead, print your tabs out and get them on a stand in front of you, and we'll go ahead and get started. So for Wayfaring Stranger, the arrangement I chose was what's called a Travis picking style, which kind of allows you to play the bass line along with the melody, which is one of the nice things about guitar, is that it allows you to do that. And uh, so what I'm going to do here first is show you just some basic Travis picking patterns that you can work on. So the first one you'll see on uh, measure one of your tab, it says Travis picking example number one. And this is on an A minor chord. And you can, uh, you know, if you don't know how to do A minor, you can find it up above on the tab, uh, top left. And so once you've got the chord played, uh, you're going to, the, the rhythm of this is a quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, and a quarter note. So it's one, two, three, and four. That's how it's counted. So for measure one, you're going to start with your thumb and you're going to hit the open A string, which is your bass note. And then you're going to hit the fourth string second fret and the second string first fret with your thumb and second finger. So you have thumb and then thumb and second, and then your thumb goes down to the bass note on the E string, first finger on the G string, sorry, and then you end with the thumb, that last note of measure one is the thumb. So your thumb basically is doing this. If you look at the measure, you can see the O, two, O, two. That's the thumb. And then the other fingers pick in addition to that. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Thumb, then two notes, then all three separately. So the only time you hit two together is on beat two. Now this, it can be very tedious at first while you untangle your fingers on this. So you just have to be real patient with it. You can even practice it. If you get tired of holding a chord, you can practice it just on open strings. It doesn't sound quite as nice, but you know, at least you don't have to sit there and hold a chord. So what I've found is that you just have to practice it very, very slowly, be very patient, and don't try to do it fast at first. And I would count, try to count one, two, three, and four. And then practice that. Once you can do it like that, it'll gradually just naturally speed itself up. Four. Just practice, I would just practice on that chord, you know, over and over. And now the next example where you see Travis picking example 1A, which is actually measure 3, this is on an E chord, and this is kind of the opposite with the thumb. The thumb is hitting the low note, big string first. So you're going, thumb is going sixth string to fifth string, which is the opposite of what we were doing before on the A minor. We were going from here to here. On the E, and the reason for that is, is on the A chord, your bass note on the first one, the example one, your bass note is here on the A minor chord. And so you're starting there, and then you're walking the bass down to E and back. On the E chord, an example 1A, your bass note, root note of the chord is here. So you're starting here with the thumb. This is 
example 1A. And on a chord like this, you have several choices of what you can do. I mean, you could hit different strings like this. Or this. You know, you have several, you have lots of different choices, but I picked this one just to get you started. It's as good as any. Plus, it's used in the song a little bit later.